Hi Scrubs, I hope you're well. Welcome back to our speed guide. In each video we will summarize what's been covered in previous videos in case you want to reference back. Links will be provided on screen. In today's video we will cover the jump dash, also known as the bunny hop. If you have not watched part 2, 4, and 6, please do so before proceeding. This guide will be much easier to understand if you have followed it up until this point. As we mentioned at the start of this series, we broke down the guide into parts to make it easier to understand. Skipping to the jump dash video without being familiar with the three slide types covered in earlier videos may lead you to being overwhelmed with the amount of keys being presented on screen. Now we are going to show you a breakdown of the single, double, and triple slide jump dashes. Let's start with the single jump dash breakdown. Things to be aware of with the single jump dash. A single jump dash is not typically used, it only happens when the double is failed. It takes the same amount of time to perform as the double. However, we will discuss it here as it may help with learning how to incorporate the jump key. If you're familiar with the single slide, then the only addition you need to make to perform a single jump dash is the addition of the jump key to your single slide. Just like all of our slides, while running forward with your accelerate key, press the direction you wish to slide slightly before you press your drift key. Along with the drift key, we now add in the jump key. The jump key can be pressed any time after the slide has started. Remember to hold your direction, drift, and accelerate key. You do not have to release the jump key after you press it. Feel free to hold it if that works better for you. Once the arrow reaches the end of the slide bar, we must wait until the horse's two front feet hit the ground to dash forward. Now that the horse's feet are on the ground, we can dash forward by tapping the accelerate key. Again, the key inputs will look like this. Accelerate, direction, Drift and jump. Accelerate. Let's take a look at the single jump dash at full speed. Watch the keys for the rhythm. Keep in mind all the failures up until this point. Most of the time, if you're failing to do the jump dash, you're doing one or multiple of the following things. Releasing the direction and drift key before the slide is completed. Double tapping the jump key, resulting in a glide. Pressing the accelerate key too early, resulting in no dash forward. Next is the double. If you are familiar with the double slide, then the only addition you need to make to perform a double jump dash is the addition of the jump key to your double slide. There are two ways to perform this technique, one of which is not advised. As mentioned in part 4, we have an official and a modified double slide. The official double slide is how the in-game tutorials teach you to do the double slide. The modified double slide is an altered and much faster way to achieve the double slide. The official should never be used in place of the more effective modified technique. Just like all of our slides, while running forward with your accelerate key, press the direction you wish to slide slightly before you press your drift key. Along with the drift key, we now add in the jump key. The jump key can be pressed any time after the slide has started. Remember to hold your direction, drift, and accelerate key. You do not have to release the jump key after you press it. Feel free to hold it if that works better for you. Next, release the accelerate key. Again, this needs to be timed with your dash bar and keep in mind that there is some lag involved. Once the arrow reaches the end of the slide bar, we must hit the decelerate key to turn the bar from yellow to orange. Then press the accelerate key to dash forward. Again, the key inputs will look like this. Accelerate, direction, drift and jump, release accelerate, decelerate, accelerate. Let's look at a slowed down consecutive double jump dash. Now we are going to talk about rhythm. What we mean when we say rhythm is the speed at which you are pressing your keys. You will develop muscle memory when learning your keys and gain your own rhythm, which you will need to optimize in order to be efficient. Now let's look at it at full speed. Notice how I'm pressing the keys, almost as if I'm playing a rhythm game. 
You may prefer listening to Alicia Online's in-game sound cues to help you develop your own rhythm. We want to stress that some keys are pressed extremely fast. The direction, drift, and jump keys are all pressed milliseconds from each other or at the exact same time. Failures can occur when doing one or multiple of the following things. Releasing the direction and drift key before the slide is completed. Double tapping the jump key resulting in a glide. Pressing your decelerate key too early or too late resulting in a single slide. Or pressing the forward key too early resulting in no dash forward. Now let's break down the triple slide jump dash. If you're familiar with the triple slide, then the only addition you need to make to perform a triple jump dash is the addition of the jump key to your triple slide. Remember that the official double slide is required to perform the triple slide and the triple slide jump dash. Do not use the modified. If you're unaware of the differences between the modified and the official double slide, please refer back to part 4 and part 6. While running forward with your accelerate key, press the direction you wish to slide, slightly before you press your drift key. Then press your jump key. Note, as previously mentioned, the jump key can be pressed any time after the slide has started. It is not limited to a single timing. Remember, you must hold your direction key, your drift key, and your accelerate key. Once the bar is filled, release your accelerate key. Then you must wait for the bar to turn from yellow to orange. Be sure not to release your direction or drift key. Now that the bar has turned orange, press your decelerate key to change the bar from orange to red. Then press your accelerate key to dash forward. Again, the key inputs will look like this. Accelerate, direction, drift and jump, release accelerate, wait for the bar to change, decelerate, accelerate. Let's look at a slowed down consecutive triple jump dash. The triple slide rhythm is different when compared to the single and double. The slide is longer, making your timing for your key inputs different. You can press the jump key any time after the slide has started, which also changes your rhythm depending on when you decided to input this key. Now let's look at it at full speed. Failures can occur when doing one or multiple of the following things. Releasing your drift and direction before the slide is completed. Releasing your accelerate key before the dash bar is completely filled, resulting in a single or double slide. Fail to wait for the dash bar to turn from yellow to orange before pressing your decelerate key, resulting in a double slide. Double tapping the jump key, resulting in a glide. Or pressing your accelerate key too early, resulting in no dash forward. The single jump dash technique is typically only ever used when a small amount of gauge is needed to gain enough to boost. Usually the single occurs when the double is failed as they take the same amount of time to perform. The double jump dash is the most used technique. It takes the same amount of time to perform as the single jump dash technique but gives significantly more gauge. As previously shown in part 4 and 6, the gauge gained is the most efficient, as we demonstrated with the comparisons of the single, double, and triple slides. The triple jump dash technique is used in very specific circumstances. For example, the triple jump dash might be used around a sharp turn or a sharp turn that includes an obstacle. It takes significantly longer to perform and also gives the sharpest turn. As previously shown in part 6, the gauge gained is more than the single but less than the double as we demonstrated with the comparisons of the single, double, and triple slides. Let's discuss the reason why people jump dash and its benefits. Here is a visual comparison of a single slide and a single slide jump dash down the hallway in Jose Forest. Notice the single slide without the jump is faster. The jump dash technique lessens the speed loss while sliding. It also makes your slides turn sharper. Now let's look at the double slide and the double slide jump dash. Notice the movements being slightly tightened, taking up less space to perform a slide. Now let's look at the triple slide and the triple slide jump dash comparison. Just like the previous comparison, the movements are tightened and take less space to perform. 
Now let's look at the speed loss and dash forward speed. When you decide to jump in the slide can change this outcome. Our normal speed loss on a double slide is 73 with a dash forward speed of 99. Our speed loss on a jump dash is 76 with a dash forward speed of 99. The jump dash can also negate some of the speed loss while running uphill. Let's take a look at a comparison. Remember that the control stat lessens the speed loss while running uphill. In this example, we are using a horse that has 20 control. A horse with higher control would lose less speed while running uphill. Normally riding uphill with no jump dashing or dashing, the base speed will be 77. Jump dashing uphill will stop the speed from dropping. The speed loss will normally not drop lower than 77. Keep in mind, if your jump dash is not optimized, you may see lower numbers. The normal double slide uphill resulted in large fluctuations in speed, some of the lowest numbers we saw dropping into the low 60s. Many think that the jump dash will solve all of their problems in speed, and this is completely false. Being a good speed player is more than just jump dashing. You can jump dash and even do a normal slide too much, which can lead to extending your ride line. This can occur from a zigzag jump dash with a jump dash that has not been optimized. There is also one additional thing you should never do, jump dash downhill. This is a great way to mess up your jump dash timing as you cannot dash forward until the horse's two front feet are on the floor. You will also not gain any of the additional speed from running downhill if you are in the air. A normal slide should be used instead. As always, start by practicing in a wide open area, as you will need to develop muscle memory for the jump dash. Start by attempting the single jump dash, then as you become more accustomed to adding the jump key, move to practicing the double. Once you're comfortable with performing the double, attempt the triple. You'll find that your jump dashing will send you flying into walls much easier as your turns are now sharper. For this stage, gain basic muscle memory for each jump dash technique. Aim for around 70-80% to 80 success rate. Now that we have some basic muscle memory, let's tighten it up. You know the drill. Head to Jose Farris and practice jump dashing down this hallway. If you're attempting the triple jump dash, ensure you take frequent breaks. Stage 3 training will be a little different than our previous videos. Now that you know how to single, double and triple slide, along with the ability to jump and slide simultaneously, it is time to apply each slide type to the appropriate situation. Start by only using the double jump dash for jumping obstacles and only using the triple jump dash for very sharp corners. As we mentioned earlier, do not use the jump dash technique when running downhill. Avoid spamming the jump dash unless you are on a straight path. Keep in mind you only want to spam if it's necessary to gain gauge to boost. For example, a golden horseshoe is coming up and you already have sufficient gauge to boost. Only jump dash for the speed gain. Understanding when you are adding distance and losing speed from sliding and jump dashing is important. The very first thing we mentioned at the start of the series is that we are not pros and even Kusetsu struggles to apply the correct slide at the correct time. This takes practice and coordination. Don't expect to master this quickly. Anyway scrubs, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you had a lovely day and bye bye!